Hello everyone and welcome back to the Black Foot Book Club for another edition of my Essential Film Reviews Collections. Thank you so much for returning. And here we're going to return ourselves to 2022 for the film The Menu. Better known perhaps for directing TV series and from the current Behemoth succession right the way back to 1995 and a particular favourite show of mine at the time, Shooting Stars, this is director Mark Mylott's fourth outing on the cinema screen in the past two decades and since his directorial debut with Ali G in the house in 2002. His latest offering from The Menu is eerily similar to last year's Glass Onion and Knives Out mystery in so much as a cast of wealthy individuals all convene dockside for a short cruise to a private island but rather than a billionaire awaiting them in the inferior Knives Out sequel, we now have a master chef dishing up culinary delights that are not to be eaten, but to be cherished, absorbed and savoured. And whilst our chef is producing food that is art on the edge of the abyss, the film rather falls straight into it. Midway through this banquet for the beautiful, Tyler Nicholas Holt, an excitable and devoted superfan of Chef Slowick, Ray Fiennes, exclaims excitedly, I didn't see that coming! But I did. Perhaps you will too. And maybe you'll, you'll also see there's a limp story being told here, or in fact, heresy as it may sound, there's no real story here at all. If you've seen the trailer, you'll be aware that such fine dining and an exclusive agreement quickly turns grisly and then, in the trailer again, you'll see a manhunt of wannabe escape artists from a remote island that is self-sustaining and self-contained in every possible way. It's just the film has nowhere to go after the events alluded to mainly in the trailer. Had the film ended after the event that Tyler didn't see coming, it would have been a tight, short film with a real twist and a thought-provoking ending. In fact, put Tyler at the centre of the event that he doesn't see coming and then you have a damn good short film. But rather, the bickering couples, film stars, food critics, wealthy money men and the holy rollers of society remain trapped on Hawthorne Island amidst a seven course meal, plus supplemental extras, of extravagant dishes entitled The Island, The Mess and Man's Folly. And the intriguing short film becomes an elongated macabre mess and a ridiculously uninteresting story. The exception to all of this rare, for me, criticism is the wonderful Anya Taylor-Joy as Margot, date of foodie superfan who didn't see that coming, Tyler. Taylor-Joy's performance is a favourite of mine whereby I was constantly drawn to her eyes as hers become the film's initial storyteller. They are wary, defiant, incredulous, note-taking, anxious, before reverting back to defiant again and all before her date hasn't seen what's coming. All I took from the menu was the rich eating the rich again and an ecological commentary from a private island housing a dozen people. This is neither a horror nor a black comedy and there is only an intriguing short story rather than an uninteresting longer film. It's not as bad as White Noise, the current badge holder of the worst film I've seen this year. The menu doesn't even run it close, but it's a dreadful film nonetheless. It's not as bad as White Noise. You think they'll put that on the promotional posters? That was the menu. And that, this is Stephen Blackford bringing you pointless, spoiler-free film reviews whilst holding a peace sign and giving you solidarity. And I leave you with thanks for watching and peace again. And take it easy out there, everyone.